Yo. What up? Good morning, good morning, good morning. Initiator, I de-ranked to Ascended 3. I suck so much at Initiator chat. And then I played a controller game and I top cracked and got my immortal back. <laughs> but dude, when I pick Sova, I'm so bad. <laughs> oh, we're learning. We're learning. I've got like a... 30% win rate on him. Oh, man. We're learning. We're learning. Literally, look at this. Loss on Sova, win on Viper. Loss on Sova, win on Brimstone. Loss on Sova, win on Harbor. <laughs> I got to I'm working on it. I'm working on it. It's a work in progress, okay? I will not give up. I am going to leave. I'm going to learn initiator. <laughs> Just like me, for real. That's what I'm saying, dude. <laughs> yeah, so anyways, if you're wondering what the initiator rank streams look like for the tier threes, it's just me crying. <laughs> Man, I'm so bad at initiator. It's mostly just brain fog. Like, when I play controller, the decision making is so burned into my brain that I can just focus on my performance. I play initiator, dude. My brain is way too awake. Match found. What was that song? It's my song. That's the Wuhujin stream starting song. It can only be found at the start of Wuhujin stream. Dumb Scott, thank you for the prime. Rufio, thank you for the prime. Death match. Please make a video on your journey to being in this state of I'm not sure if I'm gonna make a video on it, but um, I am streaming all the games, the, the tier threes. getting back in form how much sleep you get per night uh, about eight to eight and a half hours shooting like this i don't it's hard to explain this phantom is just going a little slow one tap I do with the tier threes. Fight. Jump them. It's not that educational. I'm not gonna lie. It's not that I'm learning much new about the role. Like this is the difference between coaching and performance. Um I already know pretty much how initiator should be played. But just knowing that doesn't mean I can do it. Um like 
if I make all good decisions, like I stay super conscious during the round, then I'm gonna my my aim is gonna look atrociously bad because I won't be able to think about how I'm aiming at all, and I won't be able to think about my gunfights. Decision making needs to become pretty much autopilot, Dominating. so that you can really focus on like listening to what your teammates are saying visualizing the whole map not just like what you're doing uh, there's like a lot of other things you need to think about that are unrelated to the role you're playing and i can't think about those things right now because i'm not good enough at initiator yet that's it it's not like i'm learning the super secrets of the initiator role i kind of already know how to play initiator at a you know super high level there's no secrets to be learned there You get in your groove or so too oh don't worry i will i don't know when but i will i'm a persistent you, you'll learn chad i'm a very persistent piece of shit i will bot frag on sova for seven years if that's how long it takes can't IGL and play the game at the same time? Yeah, exactly. When I play controller, I can IGL. When I play initiator, I really can't. Skill team six. <laughs> oh man. What's that guy's sense? He was lost. You know, in ARAM on League of Legends, the health relics, nowadays it just gives you the timer on the minimap. But back in my day, those things, you uh, you had to time them by hand. And so what my competitive ARAM team would do is when you pick up the health relic, you'd open chat and you just type a little plus and then the number indicating which health relic you grab. I swear I haven't had a sewers fight in a long time. Five kills remaining. Oh, there's a guy AFK in sewers. <laughs> Back off. You can make it. Where is this guy? Wait, there isn't anybody stores. Now I'm more confused. One kill remaining. All the other ooges in chat. What the hell? You hear yourself? Ah, I'm gonna play one more. Dang, looted this out of radio. Bong bongs out of radio? Okay, okay. I don't feel so bad about my ascendant D ray. Chat, I had to battle to get it back, too. This game was a battle. <laughs> Look at this. Match found. I had to get five gold stars to get my immortal back in double overtime.
death match. Warm up. I was cooking that game, man. I was cooking. I, I did not want to have an ascendant rank on my profile. <laughs> Feel personally attacked on that one? No. Imagine you, the ascendant player, promoted into platinum. <laughs> like, let's say you're like diamond, learning a new role. If you demoted into platinum. Come on, you would feel like a little, a little bad. I understand. Ascendant three is like 700 RR, lower than uh. My peak. Yeah, I think the logic applies anywhere. Like, imagine your plat, you drop this silver, you know? You're like. You want to know the funniest, um, heckin' Valorant paradox? Everybody says that they play in games above their, uh, elo because their MMR is high. They'll be like, I'm Diamond 1, but I play in Diamond 3 lobbies to my MMR. But then where's all those Diamond 3 players in those lobbies being like, yeah, I'm Diamond 3 and I get Diamond 1s in my lobby all the time. Where are those guys? Me. <laughs> yeah, because there should be nine of them for every person complaining they get higher rated players in their lobby it is. too embarrassed to say it maybe So what you mean at first? Um, I think it'd be safe to say chat. Jet's still my most like comfortable agent, I'd say. But controller is by far my favorite role now. But the simplicity of jet makes it very easy for me to IGL. Like, I actually think I, that um, Simple Duelist is where the IGL role might belong. Enemy down. Dang, the dot can click heads. KD? Nope. No thoughts. No stat means anything without VOD. Stats can mean a lot of things with VOD, though. So every time one of these stats apps tells you, yo, this new stack can tell you all this information about your play. No, it can't. 
it can tell you to look for that stuff in your VOD review. No stat can just tell you something just straight up. Not yet. Maybe I take this into battle today. Where are the enemies? This is weird. Ten kills remaining. really weird what the heck's going on remaining sir one kill remaining better than yours one right left three what the heck five. i was like not finding mid fights my truth stay hidden one day more Jorn, five nine ninety nine. Thank you, Prime. Who's collecting completely yellow? Yeah. Anyways, yeah. Look at all my gold stars, man. Working hard out here. I didn't know you saw my message, but I'm gonna send it to my last match was all diamond threes and even ones. Does that mean I suck? Yeah, kind of. That's okay though. Lots of people suck. I suck. I just do ranked to ascendant three as a radiant level player. Well, I'm not radiant on Sova. It's literally actually messed up because I only know three initiator maps. So when I pop a non-initiator map, it's basically like I'm heckin' smurfing, man. You can How do you not tilt or get even a little mad during your games? Bro, you clearly don't watch my ranked streams. <laughs> Dude, I tilt so much during, during this, uh, during that last game. Dude, I was mauled. Like during this game where I felt like I had to do everything, I was getting so mad. <laughs> Why do you assume that I don't tilt? What are you talking about? I'm good at shaking it off. Last player standing. <laughs> <laughs> right right right. right. Every time you see my stream, I'm always so calm. Bro, I'm not playing ranked right now. Bro, look at these team comms. It is zero to nine. One enemy remaining. I ah, it was platinum. <laughs> Wait, I'm getting zero starred. Well, that was a bad smoke. I'm not. 
Bro, it's a breeze clip. Blank, 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 blank. blank. Okay. Well, we have Omen on blank. Breeze. And Raze. <laughs> Okay, but our crosshair placement's not bad. Now he is. Yikes. One enemy remaining. Oh my god. Nice. What's oh my god. god. Six and four left. The whole team's calming. I mean, we. I guess we are up 5-1. Oh god. Please give me a star. Yes! Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm the best. I'm the best ranked player. I've never gotten a zero. Spell for duel. Thank you for the prime. Insector void ten. Thank you for the prime. How do you transition from a sentinel main to a gem main? Yeah, dude, you pick jet. What do you mean? <laughs> the same way I'm transitioning from a smokes main to an initiator main by losing a lot of sofa games. <laughs> I'm just picking them on my sofa maps. I've got prep. I just got to practice it. So I've lost, let's see, of my past sofa games. Oh man. All right, on just the matches three, I'm two and seven on Sova. That man, this icebox game doesn't count though. Come on, I played so well. We'll call it three and six. I'm giving myself that icebox game, whether you like it or not. Meanwhile, well, you chilling with a seventy-three percent win rate on Sova? Yeah, but do your lobbies look like uh this? Are you playing in 300 RR, Immortal? No, I didn't think so. Let me know when you are. And then you can flex your Sova win rate on me, okay? Because I think I'd have a similar win rate in your ELO. Now let's see. Raffle time. If you have a vibe, you'd like to get it reviewed, head over to Discord. At discord.gg slash wuhuja. There you will see a channel called Raffles and Predictions. And as a fresh joiner, you'll be unable to enter the raffle. Oh no. That's because in order to enter the raffle, you need an approved VOD. To get one of those, you gotta read the rules in the VOD Review Rules and Requirements channel. Then you need to submit a VOD that follows those rules in the VOD Submission channel. No exceptions to the rules we're very picky about how they're upheld if you get mad that we're picky about it and submit a ticket which lots of people do you might get an extended ban from submitting a VOD just know that Just me or some of the Discord stickers removed? Bro, that's because you can only have like 60. <laughs> and you know how many we have? We got like 100. One of these days, Discord will increase our sticker limit. I've bothered them about it. La Mickey Brick MJ is goat. Thank you for the prime. Elite form. Thank you for the prime. Says radiant when, and I say, whenever it happens, man. Don't be that guy. Don't be that guy who sees your friend finally achieve their goal of diamond, and the first thing you message them is ascendant when. Type up your homies, man. Sector void ten. Thank you for the prime. 
GWTB2 thing this year one. People have done that to me. Isn't it so annoying? Like, you finally reach like the next rung of the ladder, and the first thing people do is like, yo, when you get into the next one. It's like, I don't know. I'm working on it though. I'd appreciate just some congratulations. <laughs> Those types of friends are the ones I unfriend because they're also the ones who message you when you derank. Like you'll derank to uh, Ascendant and they'll message you, be like, oh, that's tough. <laughs> you'll be like, yo, thanks for increasing my ranked anxiety, man. <laughs> But it's banter though oh i disagree i want my friends to congratulate me for my achievements which they do that's my pet peeve exactly dude like just don't even talk about it you know now you guys have a pass because i I flexed my Ascendant D rank on all of you because I feel it's important that you know uh, you're not alone. Everyone D ranks. The raffle's ending. I'm going to pick a winner. McFly. Dang, he's got all the rolls. Have your rankings been? I've had so many no commers and trolls. Our brains like to focus on the negatives. I've had many good games too. I'm just, I'm bad at initiator. Damn, McFly's winning. Couldn't be me. Couldn't be me, McFly. Nice progress. Do we have notes for you? I don't think so, but I'm going to check. Nope. All right. Platinum 2. Let's get that rank icon here. Bam. We're playing split. Okay. We'll reset the coolness meter. A VCT knife and oh my Sound. god, he's using the OG banana crate. Good. Oh my god. I like it. This dude tried to shoot the Scott. McFly is not going to be one of those vibes, right? How many bullets did you just shoot at that guy? Oh, chill. Chill. Look how much time you had to shoot her ahead once. That's good. Yeah. Out of charges. Time out. Flash. Never mind. We're good. We're good. Rims have yours. Killjoy. I'm, I'm flashing for you. Rims. Rims up here. One enemy remaining. He's lit. Baby, baby, baby. Good job. That's what I like uncool. Say. Uncool round. Money. I'm glad Thank the you. uncoolness meter is filling up. Did you just buy a judge? On Killjoy? On economic advantage? Oh, this is good. 
let's keep sending people in the mid. What the? F I'm not gonna go this time without a judge. Sure. McFly, what is this VOD? This dude has a judge. Wait, uh, you take the judge B, babe? Where do you want to go? Ropes? I'm so confused. What is this? Hold on, Jar. I flash. <laughs> Dude, if I'm that brim, I'm I'm molding. Plant the spike. Plant the spike. Oh, he's here. Oh my god, I blind myself. Wait, let me get him. Let me get. Oh. Okay, okay. Why are you just walking out of the smoke? Why aren't we jumping? We should be jumping. And then here, while we're scaling up, we should be looking at our mini map right here. Because, well, we're uh, behind some cover. Some teammates are coming out. We're not exposed to anything. So we should look at our mini map. We should KO on the right. And then look how you come out. You see how, like, you don't realize he's there until your teammates are shooting at him? Why jump out of the smoke? Because we have a shotgun. Oh, he's here. Same fucking strat, huh? Stop. Jets popping oh. out. Okay. Almost bad. Oh. Alright, let's break this. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it's the same two people in this. He's low, he's low. You're dead, dead, dead. I can flash for you. I'm planning One for uh, heaven walk. Oh, yeah, nice shot. Oh, down. flank sewers. What the hell? Nice shot. Oof, yeah. Gun here. Good job, boys. Over there? Rich. Anybody's I'm not broke not anymore. I made it. Banana man, please give me some answer to this. I'm really curious. What? Bro, I can't even follow this conversation. Do I have the OK Go Lurk card once it... Stop trying to flow chat the game. That's what I'm telling you. Okay. Um, I can buy one of you 2K Andes. Brandon just dropped me. Equipment. Thanks. I'm Splits okay. your absolute worst map. That's why you submitted this. Well, I mean, I did just see you run out of B main oh, with a judge split. twice. Two people up ramp, three people on site. Uh, whoever has bomb obviously goes on site. Which is yeah. me. I didn't even notice. Awkward. Whole cast. Launching smoke. In sight. Um. He <laughs> hit five six. Nice kill. You're better, baby. Okay. Oh, what are you doing? What are you? Bro, bro, bro. When you plant the bomb, it goes in the direction you're facing. You made this mistake last round too, but I, I ignored it. So when you're planting here, you want to face this direction so it sticks out even more for B main. When you're planting in this corner, you want to face the corner to wedge the bomb in there more so there's less diffusible area so it's easier to spam when you face out this way you're just making it more diffusible you're losing free value man yeah i'm gonna make a video on bomb planting Job. Never thought about the spam. Okay, I have a very simple rule for you. Even without thinking about the spam, you're playing in a corner. I'm trying to think. I don't think there exists a corner plant in the game where you wouldn't want to face it. I'm pretty sure this is actually a pretty straightforward one where you just always want to face a corner if you're planting in the corner. Pretty sure it's just objectively better. Like if you're in a 
corner that like surrounds you like this. I'm not talking if you're like on a corner like this. That could be different. Like yeah, the pearl corner, of course. Here you want to face out. Um, but like if you're wedged in a corner, generally you face it. Plant sage on pearl. In which corner? Which corner? We're talking about a corner. If you're going to be like, oh, well, I wall and I don't want to face the wall. That's not a corner. I'm just talking about these like 90 degree angles. Corner by halls. I'm pretty sure if you're wedging yourself into this corner to plant, yeah, you'd want to face the corner. I don't think you're losing anything by doing that. You want to face out so you can shoot from long? No. No, 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 no. Look, look, look. When you face out, you don't decrease the diffusible area at all. At all. You're not removing any option from them when you do that. You're only increasing their options. The enemy team can still diffuse right here. Either way. If you're standing in the corner and you face out versus facing the corner. You're not removing an option from them, no matter what. You're just increasing their options. No matter which direction you face when you start the plant? No. Now, of course, if you're like planting on the edge here, then you can argue facing out makes more sense. Okay. I'm purely talking about when you're already wedged into a corner and you're planting. I'm pretty sure at that point, you just always face into the corner. Raina's just sitting back here with Rupert, dude. <laughs> I got your back. Just, you know, from the front. There's a sage wall close to T side. We should face long because we can see if it's a fake or not. Fuck, what are you talking about? You're telling me that the bomb being like there versus there has you telling if it's fake or not? It's like so minor. Wouldn't you want to plant on the edge if you want to plant it for long? Left bomb angle here? I'm just going to make a bomb plan video, all right? You guys are hecking. You guys are dizzy. You guys are dizzy. You know, um, when you when the statistics teacher explains the Monty Hall problem the, for the first time, and then like half of the class is like, no, it's definitely 50-50. That's you guys right now. <laughs> <laughs> I just need seven. to give you better visual aids. Kale's back site, oh, bet. We're going to do the Monty Hall problem right now. It's so lit. Okay. Okay, chat. So you're on a game show and you need to guess. There's three doors. And you need to guess which door has the diamond gem behind it. Okay. And Mon there's a rule in this game that when you guess wrong. So let's say you guess this door opens it and it's not that then um monty hall will say he'll like let you guess the next door and then he'll give you like a chance to like switch oh no sorry sorry you guess first and then he opens an incorrect door and lets you switch man look at me i don't even remember the rules of the problem i should pull it up so i don't miss explain it to you okay here we go so you pick like door one, then the host opens another door that doesn't have the prize and offers to let you swap. Okay. So you pick door one, the host is like, okay, well the prize isn't behind door three. Now, would you like to switch to door two or not? And then 
like the early statistics students are like why would that matter it's 50 50 there's only two doors and then um the heckin game theorists are like of course you switch it's 66 percent odds that um the prize is in the the switched door and right now everybody who thinks it's 50 50 you guys are the ones telling me to plant the bomb differently let's rotate i won't be expecting that yeah. I got you. Thank, thank you. Ha, got him. Yeah, one race plays like. Go Google it if you uh, want to understand the Monty Hall problem. I'm not going to explain. I got a flash for spawn. Here, blinded. Oh, don't swing, don't swing. Well, Kono, you don't know that. The one you picked could have the prize. 33% chance. Thank you for having again. I don't know where <laughs> Yeah, basically, your odds of picking the wrong door at the start is always 33%. So your odds of winning, because he always shows you a wrong door, is 66% when you switch every time. Yeah, they just, just didn't spawn. I'll flash for you, Jet. Ready? <laughs> Huge, what if I find myself in front of train tracks, split into two sections? Multi-track drifting. Alphabetic whatever, thank you for the prime. Is everyone Doc Wait. is literally doing nothing on attack and winning every round. Enemy Crazy up in there. Hold on, I'm dogging. Oh god, is that gonna hit me? Go get him, cowboy. One death. Nice. One's on sight. I'm flashing him. Oh. Spike down B. He saw me? Bro, you are lost. When do you look at your mini map, McFly? When do you look at your mini map? I need an eye tracker at this point. It's like you don't even know where they are. One's on site. I'm flashing him. So right here, in my head, you should be looking at your mini map because you're in a smoke. Like, what else would you be seeing? So it's intuitive to me that you would understand Brim is pillar, and one is backside. Okay. But then when oh. you come out of the smoke. It's like you have no idea what you're looking at. Like, why are we looking here? This is the threat. Down B. You saw me? Like, where are you looking? And now we're running away, totally exposed to pillar. What are we doing? Yeah, there's two sight. Oh, nice. What, a, oh. what are we doing, man? Oh, no, I ran out of ammo. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> You're dizzy. You are yeah, dizzy. Way, huh? Make sure to follow my pack in. They'll lead us right to the enemy. Oh, I just dropped it behind you. Sorry, Sky. How's that? Talking. What? I got this fight. I line up for Molly back site, which is the only safe place they have. Unfortunate. Placing swarm grenade. I've got your trail. Oh, he's close. Area's clear. Crazy. I'm flashing here for hellfire. Got one. Our spike carrier is dead. Spike down, B. <laughs> Last player standing. You're crazy for that. Okay, okay. You cashed out on one and put yourself in a 1v1 on 70 HP where they know your location. An enemy remaining. That's so uncool. It literally doesn't get less cool than that. What are you doing? Nice, what's up? You glad we made that? Oh. 
bro you're out here saying splits your worst map bro i'm just seeing fundamental errors i'm not seeing split issues oh, i thought he was down let's get these you thought right. he was oh i thought he was down because he flashed on site no dude your calm should be oh i shouldn't have shot that raise Let's get these idiots. You had the win. But you didn't you didn't play it. Same plane as last time we hit. You're aimed at body height right now. Uh you always aim for head height at the back wall. Which is like, I don't know, here. I hope they peek you. Oh, you're already moving. Cool, and this meter looking very red. <laughs> the uncool meter. If you're too uncool, we close your bot early. Bro, what are you? No, 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 no. What are you doing? Launching smoke. Flashing heaven in here. Ramps. You calmed one ramp, so you know they're there. You have your knife out now, so you see them on the mini map. Why are we pulling our knife out here to walk up ramp? Like what? What? You could not tell me? Exactly. We don't need to see more of this VOD. I know your problem, McFly. It's that you're afraid to play correctly. Because you're worried you'll be too slow or something. Mm -mm -mm. Slow it down. Look at minimap when we're not first in line and when we cannot shoot our weapon. Like reloading a uh, knife out. Mm. Like this is like just a fundamental problem you have. The amount you look at your mini map is like terrible. Like new power rank. I'm sorry. <laughs> He's got to chill. Got to chill. Except that you will die from unlikely threats sometime that's normal you're like worried about unlikely threats to a degree that you are throwing your own elo away you're literally throwing rounds because you're like worried about everything all at once Like you're out here pushing B site and then immediately you're like, oh, but they could come heaven. You come back up heaven. You're out here pushing IA main. You're like, oh no, but they could be ramps. And then you're not even like dealing with that other threat appropriately. I'm a silver, but a few more bad games and I'll be demoted to McFly. Yo, chill, chill. He's got a, <laughs> he's got a family. McFly, you gotta, you gotta dial up the coolness meter. Next VOD, I expect sheesh meter to fill up. You're like, you're so uncool. I can tell you're like terrified. And that's no fun. Valorant's not fun when you're terrified. You know how you become not terrified? By sort of, um, you just have to like leap of faith it. And it's, it's, it's even more terrifying at first. And then you kind of get used to it. You kind of get used to just not looking at certain threats. It's, it's like nothing to do with your um, split gameplay is the problem. It's like this mini map awareness and this like crazy pacing shift. Like, let's, let's watch after this kill, but I wouldn't be surprised if you just... You're like, look, you didn't even... Okay. So after I kill Sace, let me show you what I'm doing. If I don't have a plan, I'm coming over here. I'm looking at my mini map and I'm thinking, and then I'm doing something. But watch what you do after you kill him. Ramps. 
Like, okay, time to push. You're running forwards heaven with the bomb out in the open right now. Nice kill. And you're like, oh, wait, I shouldn't do that. It's like while you're trying to think of what to do, you just heckin' panic. On site. I'm rotating. Why are you rotating? We have sight. I got your back off. Two there's just one. There's a. Gotcha. Good job, heaven, heaven. Alarm bot out. One enemy remaining. Hold on, I'm dogging. Heaven safe. Time to kill. He's, he's got chill. He's ramps. Uh, he's... Chill, McFly. Right, flash from over here. Chill. Whenever. You gotta chill. It's heaven again. You got the makings of a high-rated player. So you got the nervousness of a low-rated player. D-rank with me. D-rank with me. McFly. Embrace. Embrace it. Embrace it. Losing is normal. Valorant game sense get better if I watch Blue Log? No. <laughs> no. Oh, I guess you tried one sec. There we go. There we go. Welcome to my ELO. Enjoy your stay. Oh, I'm already out. I'm sorry. I hate to break it to you, but I won my Immortal rank up game again. But I was with you for a good uh, 30 minutes. I was with you. If you have a VOD you'd like to get it reviewed, head over to the Discord at discord.gg slash I'm going to run the raffle again. You're going to pop two Sova maps, go straight back down? Maybe. Maybe. Heads or tails? Tails over fails. That's a really quick review. It was. I didn't need to see more. How's Sova for you? What's difficult about winning? So at my level, like high immortal, low radiant, if you can't make all of your decisions like instantly without having to think at all, then you're going to lose games. And I'm new to Sova. So while I know what I should be doing, I'm too slow to do it all. So that's what I'm... I just need to play a ton of games and get really used to it. Is this the speed of the decisions? Okay, just a dad. Just a dad thinks it's 50 50. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain to you, just a dad. Just because you're a long time viewer, I'm gonna give you the click. Okay. Can you first be uh, clear that you genuinely think it's a 50 50, just a dad? I just wanna make sure that you're not just like trolling. But lots of people do genuinely think it's 50 50. So I am happy to change your mind here by giving you a. Uh, who's an explanation of why it is objectively not a 50 50 it is a 60 okay it's confusing you perfect so the trick is that he always opens a door that doesn't have the prize okay always it's guaranteed that he will do that so let's pretend there's four doors and monty always opens two doors that don't have the prize okay so you pick this one and then monty says okay the prize is not here and it's not here would you like to switch? Okay. But now instead of four doors, let's say there's five million doors. Okay. Dot, 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 dot. And you pick this one. And Monty then opens 4,999,998 doors and says, okay, it's not in any of these. Would you like to switch though? 
Now, despite there only being two doors left, because he always opens doors that don't have the prize in it, switching effectively changes your odds from picking the wrong door to picking the right door. Um, essentially, what are the odds that you picked the right door if there were a million of them? One in a million. Okay. But when you switch, your odds become 999,999 in a million. That makes sense. It it hurts your brain because there's only three doors. But when there's like five million doors, you're like, oh, okay. Of course I'd switch every time. And you can play it out. Like if you just do it the numbers, like if you even simulate it with just three doors, the player who switches every time wins 66% of the time. And the player who sticks to their guns wins 33% of the time. Because you're effectively just saying, what are the odds that you pick the prize or what are the odds that you don't pick the prize? Because let's say the prize is here and you always switch. If you always switch, then you win if you um, guessed this door or you guessed this door. So you win in two out of three other cases. If you always switch and you guessed the prize, then you lose. If you never switch, then you only win when you guess the middle door. Okay. So as the number of doors increase, you can see how your odds increase more and more. I hope that makes sense. Just a dad. Even though there's only two left at the end, the fact that you know he has to open a door that doesn't have the prize is what changes the rules, okay? The fact that that's how the game works. It increases your expected value. If he didn't have to always open a door that doesn't have the prize and he could do it on a whim, then the odds are no longer 66-33 every time. Your thought process is eliminating the doors as they open? Yeah, but let's say there's a million doors, Dad. Okay? There's a million doors. But let's say Let's say it's five, okay? I've put the prize behind one of these. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Pick one. Pick one right now. Yeah, yeah. It's it's going up to a million, okay? But pick one of the ones through five one through five. Pick one of these doors. Just a dad. We're gonna play the game right now. Lots of people picking four, but we're going to let just a dad pick a door. Okay. Just a dad picks four. Okay. Now I'm going to show you it's not in one, two, three, five. It's not in a million, um, but it could be in four. Oh, and it also could be in door 723,452. Now, would you like to switch off your initial guess to this one? Or would you like to stick with four? And I've opened all of these other doors to show you it's not in them. You think it's 50-50 right now? You would still stick. You would stick to four, saying I totally guessed right the first time. Because you have one in a million odds if you stick. Like you genuinely would stick if there was a million dollars on the line right now, just a dad. You would stick. You actually think it's 50-50 right now. You're like, this is definitely 50-50. Yeah. That's insane. That's insane. If you simulate this, you understand that if we ran this situation 50 times, the person who switches wins nearly every time, right? You understand that? Because Monty Hall has to open all of the doors that are losing. Like if you just simulate this 50 times with a million doors, the person who switches wins 
nearly every single time. And the person who sticks to their guns loses nearly every single time. Does it help if you're the person who puts the prize in a door, Dad? Like, watch. Instead of that, pick a door to put the prize in, and then I'm going to play, okay? So there's a million doors. Pick a number between one and a million, okay? And put the prize in it. Whatever number you just picked, just think of it. Now, I'm going to open door number 78,652. Okay? And now I need you to open every door except for the one that might contain the prize and mine real quick okay now what doors are left open can you let me know which doors are left open obviously mine is still closed and then what other door is still closed i just need to know the number on that other door that's still closed seven okay i'm gonna switch did i win i'm gonna switch and open door seven and i would wager my career as a streamer that i just won is that proof enough to you that it's not 50 50 I hope that makes sense. Because I know that Monty Hall has to open all of those doors. To be honest, you lost the number you initially had. You want to play it again, Dad? Are you not convinced? I'll play again. I don't think it's 50-50. I'll play again. How many times do you want to play for me to prove that switching pretty much always wins when there's a million doors? Too many numbers, your brain can't process it. That's fine. DM Ethan right now a number between one and a million, and that's where you're going to put the prize, and then I'll play the game again. <laughs> DM Ethan the number right now. Pick a door to put the prize behind. Let me know when you've DM'd him a number between one and a million. He's kind of Monty Hall problem. Yes, and we're getting making we're making a click for just a dad. Because just a dad is a longtime viewer. Done? Okay, perfect. Ethan, I picked door number 4781. That's the door I picked. 4781. Oh uh, what two doors are left open now? Like or closed. Because you have to open all of the other ones. 4,781 and 789. Okay, I switched to 789. That's the door that I choose to open. I choose to open this one. I won? Wow! You want to try again just to done? I mean, if it's 50-50, I should eventually lose, right? You see how the odds aren't 50-50? It's the odds that we pick the same number. That's my odds of losing. It's us picking the same number. And so with three doors, that's a one in three or 33%. With a million doors, it's a one in a million. That makes sense. It's just because there's only three doors that your brain finds it hard to believe that it's slightly better for you to switch. But when there's a million doors, it becomes so obvious that I'm going to win every time when I switch. Every time I switch, I'm winning with a million doors. I'll play this game against you as many times as you want. And I'll put up, 
I'll put up $500 to your $5 just as ad. And I'll play this game with you all day long. Anytime uh, I lose, I'll pay you $500. Anytime I win, you just have to pay me $5. You want to play that game? If you think it's 50 50, that's really good for you. What about the chances we go back to the VOD? Once just a dad is convinced, he's a long time viewer and I wish to, I wish to explain. I understand it now. My thought process is wrong. I think it's a new equation when the doors are open. Exactly. It's, that's the thing. It's not a new equation. That's what tricks people up. If you just showed me these two numbers and said, yo, which door is it behind? I'd have no idea. It's 50 50. But because I chose this number, I know that this number has better odds. Okay. It's totally 50 50. If I just showed you these two numbers and I was like, which one has the prize? Just a dad. That's 50 50. But because of the circumstances, the odds are changed. Back to the fire review we've showed him why it's not 50 50 and that's what i cared about because just a dad is a long time viewer and i didn't want him to be confused oh i've already got the raffle running <laughs> hades yeah i'll reset the cool meter don't worry <laughs> I like the million doors example because I'm willing to actually play it against people who think it's 50 50. Like I'll put money on the line. Like if you think it's 50 50, I'll bet $500 to your $5 all day long with a million doors. And you can pick what door the prize is behind by DMing Ethan. If anybody wants to take me up on that bet, I'm ready right now. <laughs> I will take that bet all day long. He waved my DMs. <laughs> okay. Okay. We are duelist player. Playing on Ascent. A classic. Hades Z. I don't think we have notes. We do not. Thanks for the explanation. Anytime, just a dad. Thanks for the continued viewership. Now, when your kid is older and they have stats class and they tell you that the Monty Hall problem is stupid and they're sure it's 50 50, you can you can offer to to play against them. I feel like that's the ultimate like gotcha. The person who's still convinced is 50 50. You're like, OK, then I'll bet bad odds against you. If it's 50 50, you're winning a ton of money from me. But I know it's not 50 50. There's Silver thinks himself a hunter. A separate stats section in the VOD? I'm sure Zendikar will do that, yeah. Okay. Oh, whoa, no pop flashes on the whole map right now. Oh, oh my god. Why do we have 4A right now? No, 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 no. You're four sacking and then you're asked for the one way? Here. See, I wish I knew how to do that, but I. Oh, no way no way this guy's just filled on the smokes he's like i wish i knew how to do please don't be this guy chat please just don't pick smokes your team doesn't need smokes okay i've won in radiant with five duelists you can win in diamond without smokes i promise oh, yeah, yeah. B, 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 B. 
Wait, this is so slow. <laughs> okay, if Pythagoras could see you right now, he'd be very upset that you just chose to take this route instead of this route. We're getting back on the math. <laughs> um, but, but this one's faster. It's shorter. It's a shorter path. The only time I would take the heaven route is if I'm playing back dice. Like if I'm already here, then it might be longer for me to wrap around tree this way than to come up this way. But because you're here, you have to go in this straight line here to jump up. Then you've got to take this straight line, this straight line, and you rotate, okay? Here, it's like this straight line, this straight line, this straight line, and you rotate. And this is much shorter, much shorter, not even close. I'm not even going to time it for you. Uh, just trust me, <laughs> it's way faster. Like here, wait, well, when did this chamber start rotating? Yeah, look, look, this chamber is in such a bad spot. Look, look, he's running from here, from dice, okay? Which is even further from tree. And he's slow. Look at his routing on the minimap. It's not good. And he would have been in front of us right there. Spike planted. Yeah, I don't know what you were expecting playing 4A at the start of the round. Okay, now we're stacked. Makes sense, Ronico. Okay. This falls under my, um, have you seen my video on how to VOD review, Hades? I got this video on my channel called like, you suck at VOD review. Right here. Have you seen this video? Yeah, you've watched it? Perfect. So your problem is specifically disadvantageous forward? engagements. You're not taking into account. You're not taking into account the attributes of the weapon you and your enemy likely have when you position. So you have a classic pistol and you hear them coming out. And so now naturally what I want to do in this situation is walk forward. I want to get close to this angle. So my right click is more likely to kill them because they're going to have like big boy guns, vandals, specters, bulldogs, maybe a marshal. That'd be weird, but maybe. And so I want to close the gap because I, I lose to that gun every time the longer range it is. Killjoy might have a judge. No, no, no. We're not facing McFly. Killjoy doesn't have a judge for all intents and purposes of the discussion. And I think if I had to make you choose between, would you rather take this fight where you're back here against this guy and this guy's got a Vandal and you have a classic? Okay, so this is option one. 
Then option number two is you're right here. And this guy is peeking into you right here. You have a classic. They have a van. This is option number two. I think intuitively you prefer number two. Like if I'm saying uh, whichever fight you win, you win a million dollars. You have to pick one of these two fights to try and win your million dollars. Most people are going to pick this one, even though both of them are bad. Either way, you're probably losing to the Vandal. But this one, you've got better odds. You've got better odds. And if we look at what you do here, you actually back up. You see here how you're backing up away from that edge? You're reducing your odds. And this, in a nutshell, is sort of high-level Valorant your ability to take the best fight you can get like when you're presented with options finding the best option it also has a stinger i didn't even notice that so i'm not complaining the ability but i mean even with a stinger it's the same choice you get close but you can see this would have been a kill honestly she's not even looking at us if we were close and we right clicked you might i give you good odds Planted. Nice. One enemy remaining. 78. Wow, that round was literally a win. We would have won that round. It's the Bro, what is our team doing? Yeah, so now I would go A. I would go A. Like, look at the mini map. We just don't want to be um four people on one side of the map. Oh, that sucks. Coming in. Bro, did you just hear one A side? You guys hear that vandal sound? Right there. What the hell's that? Spike down B. Wait, dude, where is this guy? What, are you not worried about that? Are you not just going to get shot at some point? <laughs> dude, this guy gave away their location and you're just like, uh, must have been the wind. <laughs> what? what? What are you doing? Last player standing. Okay. Yeah, for everybody who didn't hear it, listen again. Right there. But um, <laughs> I think she's like top mid, <laughs> and then she goes to rotate um this way <laughs> you have you guys ever tried to turn left really quickly and you bumped your mouse and your keyboard and fired your gun <laughs> if i had to guess she was looking this way and she went to turn left to rotate this way she bumped her mouse and fired a bullet out of her vandal and rotated this way. <laughs> No, Killjoy was not lurking in their spawn. They played default, dog. Dog. They positioned one to fight for mid. They positioned one to fight for A main. And they, they 3 one one would you. Your own copium is holding you back a bit. You're trying to, like, cope your death into, oh, they were playing super weird. That's why I died. They're not playing weird. You got to fix your mindset here. Uh, I'll, this happens to a lot of people. You'll die to something and you'll be like, oh, why are they doing that? And then you'll just be like, okay, well, I died because they're weird. No, dude, they just... 
she was controlling a main while her Reyna was testing mid and she rotated through spawn and you dive to it because you weren't ready for it that's it don't cope it Is it weird for the killjoy to be slow walking through her spawn after defaulting? What do you mean slow walking? How do you know she's slow walking? We're not within audio range here. She could be sprinting. What do you mean slow walking? Is she just fired? So now she starts her rotation. Spike down B. Yeah, we would never hear her. She's probably walking fast right now. Bro, we do hear her. Pretty sure right here. Yeah. She comes into audio range right now. She's right here. We hear an extra set of footsteps now. Wait, notice how hard it is to pick that up because these dudes are also making noise. Uh, He's not slow player. walking. One fifteen on jet. You should run. Pushing spawn. Enemy defender spawn. Wait, wait. Pushing spawn. Okay, that's our smoke. Oh, you're thinking you're getting more audio cues. Spike planted. Uh, jet ran. Um, okay, you did this last time and I didn't say anything, but doing it twice. You don't want to force yourself to have to reload next to a nearly broken door. Because a lot of people are going to be playing close market right here. And they're going to break this door and push you and kill you. So was there. Walking side. This guy is playing with the Sova's there. Not nice enough. We are way too slow. I would start playing. Um, I would start playing here. If you're going to play A side, I play here because you can fight tiles, but also you can rotate way faster. And we're in a scenario where we need to be helping the team faster because the enemy team is exploding through sites and we don't want to just trust our team to hold what the fuck i can blind if you want to repeat no no i'm just gonna chill i think reyna was rearing out top mid hey, this is the weirdest diamond game you guys want to know what the enemy jet just typed in chat? Because she's coping too. The enemy jet just typed. You're going to keep pushing up every time or what? Like, what? Yeah, he's fighting for A main with a one way. Drop the bomb in main. How many copers are in this lobby right now? That's not weird. Dude, these guys go on Reddit and you know what they do? They make a thread called, I can't win in diamond because these players are too unpredictable. It's so much easier to play in Immortal because the players play correctly. Even though in Immortal, the players also peak a man. Like, dude, what? What are you guys saying? Well, they're pre-firing. Yeah. Nice. Reloading. Your more steps. Uh, they're in a main so right now. One top mid. One top mid, one main. Just watch Cat. I got main. I refuse to believe for even a moment that if you actually saw them on this jiggle, you're killing them. There's no way. There's no way you're killing them with that. One enemy remaining. 
Thank you. Looks like I was the stronger one. I screw around, guys. Screw around. Got this. Finally, this is how I like to win. Take it this time. <laughs> Did you ask him not to do this? something weird oh man you want to do the one way and then this time here like, you asked for it over. you know what i'm saying <laughs> here <laughs> how people judge themselves by their intentions you see how we shrugged that off now if we hadn't asked for the one way and instead our omen just threw it you know what we're saying half the time why did this stupid piece of shit omen one way that <laughs> because you judge them based off of the quality of the smoke you're like that smoke sucks while you you're like oh I didn't think that through. Oops. <laughs> Just keep that in mind next time uh, your teammates make you mad with their util. I don't think they meant to, okay? Oh, fuck, yeah. Some of them mean to, though. Most of them don't, though. Oh my god. <laughs> Crazy. Hit 50. He was outside the man. They might come back to you, man. Yeah, they're going dead. He gave them a. Our team wins that round, okay. Oops. I just heckin numpad zeroed. Oh, we missed our round. Spoilers. Oh, wait, no, we did do this round. No spoilers. Get out of my way! Oh, that's B main. Uh, that's B main. Okay, so this guy fights tiles. Like, okay, they're tiles. And then you WA peak. So my problem with this isn't the peak. My problem with this is I'm 99% sure that if I invited you to a custom right now and told you with 100% certainty that I'm tiles, that you're not peeking at that poorly. That's my problem. I'm booting it up. I also don't think you're peeking with intent to kill. I'm not gonna lie. I think you're kind of um kind of a bit afraid. Kaiser McGriddle. I give the prime. Careful of the edges. Not sure if I could catch her in time if you fell off. I mean, I try, of course. My ult's ready. Okay. Hey, do you stream your solo queue games? Uh, to tier three Discord subs, and I upload some of them to YouTube. One's going up today, actually. Okay. So if I know their tiles, I'm peeking sort of like this, or if I'm getting close like you were, I'm peeking way out. Because if I'm peeking close like that, I am dead. Like if I'm not peeking fast, because I'm right on their crosshair. And JPC is especially guilty of this right now. Um, most players who think they um, kind of don't deserve the rank they're in, or think like the players at their certain rank are really good or dangerous, you end up, it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy because you peek so tight because you want to have close cover that you get yourself killed. 
you think they're there you gotta peek out if you don't peek out like this you're dead and then the prophecy fulfills itself and you go oh no i got one tap i knew it these players are so good i don't care about the dash in this scenario mariah i care about the raw peak um so if i'm close to the angle i'm peeking like big stride out now if i'm further from the angle i'm down for you to peek it kind of tight but even then you have to be really ready like i probably pre-fired because you saw them on the mini map Oh, that's B main. So like here, they're fighting tiles. Okay, now let's simulate. Okay, that's a woohoo to the POV of your P. Now your POV. B main. Yeah, is this like a bug? Is this a setting? Can you turn off? Wait, why would you ever turn these off? Holy cow, please turn these on. I don't see an upside to ever having these off. Look at the mini map chat. I'm curious what it is. So right now you can see what I can see. And turn it off and now you've got no idea I think they're off by default they definitely are not off by default Jet pushing. yeah you have no idea what your teammates can see like can that chamber see B main right now my intuition says barely However, uh, a vision cone would be nice. Yeah, looks like you could see it way more than barely. Oops. Go back Cutting their vision. Spike down mid. Spikes in coverage. Deploying drone. Go back A, go back A, I got B. Oh, break the drone first. You just gave the drone extra info. Down A. Your teammates um, are fighting World War 8. Thank you. One main Oh, hi. Uh, I haven't moved. Spike is safe. I'm the last thing they'll see before they die. Okay, okay. we're going back to Wahootin POV. So first of all, when I peek out, coming out here, I keep my crosshair near the edge of that smoke. I hear the drone coming. I got my dash prime. It tags me. I dash away. I'm hopping over here. I don't know where. Doesn't really matter. Let's say I go tree just like you. Okay, the drone is broken. They're coming out. I'm coming here. I'm spraying a bunch of bullets. Depending on the mini map, I might check top mid. And I'm ready to smoke and come out with my team. Cause I've got one, two teammates holding site. Fine. One enemy. Kill Joyce hit one. You see your teammates? You have to match your intentions. These guys are intending on holding. You know how I can tell? That chamber is committed. If they push, that chamber has to fight or die. Uhuja, is there any way I can go see your Rocket League gameplay? <laughs> um, I think if you go to Uhujin VODs, you go to the charity stream. Yeah, there's a Rocket League segment. I played one ranked two versus two game near the end. With Valorant, I 
right here. Made, like... Yeah. There you go. Rocket League. Question answered, yeah? Just go to here. Let's find the start of the game for you. Five hours, four minutes, and four seconds into the VOD is when you are going to find the Rocket League gameplay portion, the charity stream. Gotta look at him go. Okay. Spike down A. Um, Killjoy's hit 105, Rana's hit 40. The, uh... Yeah, we came out too late. Too late. Maybe let's not peek the random blind. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay. I thought we might be pretty new to the game. <laughs> this is like such a weird decision. So you're not even taking shots. Like you're baiting for your arena, but why not bait with some bullets too? How many bullets did you shoot total? We're not going to count breaking the turret. You're 21 right now. Nice. Two. Got two bullets. I can blind for you if they swing or if they push out. Spike down mid. I'm blinding there. One enemy remaining. Uh, 120. Time there is. 20. Down mid. I'm blinding. Yeah. It's a skill player. Backup by hygiene. As soon as it starts. Oh, uh, yeah. What's this? No Zombie. Okay. Oh, we fixed it. It's lit. I like that play. Bro, I'm going to lose my mind. So last time we did this, we specifically ran into a, uh, a killjoy turret with our knives out and we got laid the hell out. So if we're going to scale up cash, shouldn't we at least have our vandal out to break the turret? Dude, I can't do anything with this fucking Sova, man. Spike planted. Different. Last player standing. Spike plant. Yeah, you're aiming at body height. Yeah. Last player standing. Use every. Focus. Say. 
This is a better rotation timing. Ooh, What's spam that guy? Right there. That's bangable. Spike planted. Enemy A. Our free kill. What the? Oh, bro, what the fuck, man? Last player standing. Oh, we're crying. We got KJ mollied off. We need another flash or something. Bro. Bro, the least you could do from here. So now you've untucked that dart, right? It's not tagging you. Because you're so safe right now. But your team's trying to scale out. The least you can do is wait for that scan to go by and then come out and break the dart. Please. We're uh, Molly. Can't go in. We got KJ Molly off. See, you tuck from the dart. Makes sense. You dodge the ping. Break that thing. What else are you going to do? Last player standing. Fuck this team, bro. <laughs> Seriously. Oh no! Your chamber's not happy. Default. Your chamber is not happy. I can't blame him. That's a bad smoke. Ooh, you can't really walk up cat here with that smoke because they can be on that little box on your left. Spike down B. So we got lucky there. Why does that guy have a classic? Oh, because he's reloading his stinger. His stinger, which he's opted to fight from cat to tiles with? Bro. Is it just me or is diamond like... Diamond falling off. He's holding tiles though. Dinger. There. Oh. Never mind. That was the best feel in the game. Be peeking cat. Locking sight. Oops. This angle is like super uh, dangerous. Like if they're playing bot mid, you kind of just get laid out. Chat's calling it a plat lobby. Let's take a look. Let's see if chat's coping or whooping. Let's see. This looks like you uploaded this five days ago. Is it this loss? Do we go OT? We do. Chat is in between. Diamond one, diamond two, plat three, plat three, plat two. It's 50 50. Our chamber's diamond two. We were diamond one this game. It's low diamond, honestly. Spoilers. <laughs> One death. Is plat three average rank? Oh, there you go. I didn't even know it gives you the average. Yep, there you go. High plat, low diamond. Enemy, enemy. Shadows. 
strafe on that spike. One enemy remaining. Oh, he's mid. Probably coming. What? Here. I think we should rotate. Dude, let me make sure I got this straight. What's this tech? What's that accomplish? One sec. Did I get that right? Is that about right? Looks cool. <laughs> this is your new jet tech. You can smoke Jen and then dash in the air. Wait. Okay, wait, that's kind of sick. That's kind of sick. Wait. Wait, no, 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 you can cook. You can, that's kind of high swag. Wait. <laughs> wait, wait, that's kind of sick. <laughs> wait, that's kind of sick. That's kind of sick. Oh, man. 733 came in strong. Seven thirty-three. Waiting for seven thirty-three to pass. Are we back? Are we back? Are we back? Are we back? All right, we're practicing. <laughs> okay 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 is it cool yeah but the problem is like um your smoke expires way earlier with that way and you like have to come in at this crazy angle where you like fall into the smoke and i'm not gonna lie these heckin radians who are spamming popcorn voltaic hard are probably clicking you. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it is high swag though. Sir, Sir, do 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 I'm ready to diagnose you. Let's see, what's our official? Hades Z. Rotate a lot faster. General. Do, 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 do. General. Dude. Dude. Our gunfight hygiene and peaks are heckin' terrible for our elo. You play good entry and make good comms. And that's sort of compensating for that right now. I would highly recommend you spam some 
death match plus raid and clean up your tech leaf. Honestly, like you're you're confident, you just don't you can't use it. Like you <laughs> you're good at playing entry, you come out of the smokes to help the team, a bit slow on defense, but like you're doing the decisions are not bad. The decisions are not bad. It's um the gunfights and the the movement is really like a low bar really below bar for our elo yeah clean that up man are you cs go player i see you don't have many hours in valorant it's like we started in we really started in episode five like i'm not gonna count three hours in episode three So you got you got to play some more. You got to play some more. Let's go back. Shoop. Can you watch ten seconds into the start of next buy? <laughs> okay. Shadows traveling. All right. Now we're gonna open the raffle. If you have a VOD you'd like to get it reviewed, head over to Discord at discord.gg slash Wuhujin. You need an approved VOD in order to enter the raffle. To get an approved VOD, you read all the rules in the VOD review rules and requirements channel. Then you record a VOD that follows those rules and you submit it in the VOD submissions channel. Then, once your VOD gets approved, you'll be able to enter the raffles right here in the raffles and predictions channel. <laughs> I am almost certain that's not the 10 seconds he meant chat but it's funnier this way <laughs> he meant the buy phase wait let's see look your enemy in the eye he's killed with accuracy <laughs> you're still messing up dude you're messing up against a pillar <laughs> oh, oh man you're doing this thing too be very careful of this you're doing this thing where your crosshair dips up and down as you burst like you you have to pull it back up to shoot your two bullets stop doing that right now stop doing that right now it's like I'm exaggerating but this is what it looks like it should just look like this. Aim at head height. Why is the crosshair dipping, man? And the problem, a lot, the reason this happens is a lot of you pull down your shots, or you don't need to pull down your second vandal shot, okay? fine it's fine look let's say this number four is my opponent's head okay second fine the number of like second bullets i hit and here i'm gonna drag my bullet over to the side here so you can see where the second one lands it's like a little bit. Tarek does that with his burst rage though. Oh, Tarek. Yeah, what's that? Probably main for me though. Oh, actually. I committed that shit. Come on, then. You got, motherfucker. No, he doesn't. I mean, he dead zone to this guy. Also, speaking of, where's Dopey at? Dopey's out here saying he never uses dead zoning. I was like, wait, really? You got motherfucker. Let's watch that one in slow mo because there is a two bullet shot. Come on, then. You got motherfucker. Mm, there's no double burst there. Let's keep watching. 
Talk to Watch me, bitch. Ah, uh, sorry. Things to do. What'd you say? You know what? Uh, Flip that <laughs> one for Dopey, by the way. That Tarek kill. Because I like was telling him, I'm pretty sure a lot of people, like a lot of pros, do dead zone in like mid or long range fights on occasion to dodge bullets. It's the Brazil meme. Like a headless. Hey, what's that guy doing? That guy trolling? Or oh. That's big. Wait, I said. Our left. Market still. Got two, two, two. A lot. Smoking team. Yeah. Are they? I'm checking. Jump. No. Last player standing. No. I don't think he's pulling down. He's aiming down before he shoots, actually. He's still low. He's still low. It's not wavering back up and down. <laughs> He's aimed too low, but then his crosshair stayed too low. Oh. We'll keep watching them. More data. I'm like genuinely checking, by the way, because I don't know for a fact how Tarek takes Good fights. Um, most of the people I study for fights would be, let's see, I studied a lot of Xander, a lot of Tens, a lot of Asuna. I had not explicitly studied Tarek gunfights, so I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt that he takes them differently than these other players I've just listed. But I don't think so. Third Guardian round. Please talk. I don't think he's pulling down between bursts. People. Get the in, in, in. They're gonna res. They res. And we're gonna see sprays. One outside B main. Man connects every first bullet and he doesn't take any super long range fights, man. They're not up, not up. Contains. One boat, one boat. Playing back sight. Two, two! Man, the only fight we really saw here was his dead zoning bullets. So if somebody wants to go find close to Tarek bursting. You'll have to go do it. I'm not going to keep looking because I want a pod review. Yo, Miro. Congratulations, I'm winning the raffle. Jet fracture. Flat two. Noodle Buddha gave you a 90 out of 100 comm score. I, I didn't know we were doing that now, but nice. Nice comm score, Kill Miro. Oglethorpe approved? No, 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 no. It's Noodle Buddha approved. Oglethorpe is Annika. By the way, chat. If you're enjoying the stream, I'd appreciate if you would quickly take it out of full screen and just check if you have Twitch Prime available because it doesn't cost you anything. And a lot of the time you forget that you have it up. So I'd appreciate if you could spend roughly one to three seconds just checking if you have it. And if you do, I'd like it. Just check, just check. Even if you think you've already used it, just check. I appreciate that. Chickens, thank you for the Prime. YY Cat, thank you for the Prime. Project Shiro, thank you for the Prime. Tarzan underscore B, thank you for the Prime. See? They all checked. Canard Baguette, thank you for the Prime. Unban Soup, thank you for the Prime. That's what I'm talking about. You just gotta check. Amazon, I swear they don't remind you every time. I swear they remind you sometimes to trick your brain into thinking that they'll always remind you. And then they just don't remind you half the time.
Does that make sense? Try and hit those death centrals and hard blasts? Nope. It's not a there's not a benchmark for a reason. Retro, great thing for the prime. You're gonna hard bots is more just like a meme. I think hard bots in general is pretty meme unless you're like if you're radiant level, then hard bots might be slow enough for you to realistically aim at. Like you you can see me aim at hard bots. I can hit them. But bots in general are really meme. I think death batch is way better practice unless you're a super beginner and you need to practice your fundamentals. Mr. Bembo, thank you for the Prime. Hello, you will thank for the Prime. You, it's better for Discord sub, right? Oh, well, Primes are free. Uh, I don't really simp for the paid subs on the stream. But yes, the Discord subscription is the best way to financially oh, support me in the event that you are financially uh, privileged. Dash onto Dice and clear canteen. For this, thank you for the Prime. Uh, I mean, would you be able to smoke off Link? Oh my God, no wonder you have 90. These comms. Discord doesn't take half. No, Discord takes 10%. Medium benchmarks is 20. Um, is 20 on the over aim drill, 15 on the dead zone drill. I don't know what Cloud is talking about. So Cloud, I'm going to have to give you the timeout for misinformation. Is that's not that's not true. Bro, why do we have a ghost though? What's up with everybody? And buying ghost and then going. All right, I've got the strat, guys. Let's viper wall up this close angle. Get really close to all of them. Then smoke here and here. And we'll walk through with our five operators. Like, what's up with that? Bro. Why are you playing ghost this way? If you're going to dash in the middle of sight with nothing but close range, fast strafe fights. Buy a goddamn frenzy. If you're going to buy ghost, start the round arcade side and look for these longer ranged fights. But even then, just buy a frenzy and updraft dash tower, man. Frenzy's so good. And cheaper. Jet canteen. Two gen, one canteen. Ah, but could your frenzy do that, Wujin? No, it could not, hypothetical viewer. Ooh. 30 cypher. Sometimes the best thing you can do is nothing. And that is this scenario. It's unfortunate. Satisfying. Since we're at a disadvantage that way. Sheesh! Crying in the club. Why is that guy shooting at you with a ghost right now? And then he drops a specter. Oh, what are you guys doing down here? One on rope. <laughs> rope is low. That guy's lost. He's literally lost. He bought a Spectre and he's playing Ghost for the close range fight. He's roasting extra hard this week. No, the VODs are extra scuffed this week. I roast when the roast is deserved. This man is playing. He's got a Ghost for the two meter fight. And he has a Spectre. Like he bought one. He bought a Spectre. Come on. <laughs> Eco77, thank you for the one gifted. <laughs> and for the tier one sub. Jay Pedinsby, thank you for the Prime. Katie first, thank you for the Prime. Hutak, thank you for the Prime. Remaining. Last out of Marshall. Who's determined to snag a headshot? <laughs>
Clean. Nice. Good job. Clean. Nice. Let's go F into there and. Uh, Omen, uh, could you smoke off rope for me? I'll dash up draft into there and. Oh my god, I figured it out. Are all of our ranks getting inflated because you guys are making good comms now? Because I've made it a requirement. You have got to make plans. And it's inflating your elo because plans are broken. Take some oh. space from Oh. Yeah, I got you. Thank you very much. You don't get any comms in your games? Yo, you be the change you want to see in the world. All right, let's see. What the hell is this crosshair, dude? I think you're supposed to updraft first. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's the enemy economy. Surely you check. Oh, let's go. Thank you. Oh, EJH, thank you for the Discord sub. Rotten Chuckles, thank you for the Prime. Okay. Neurons activated. Half by detected. A this round, uh, Omen. Uh, could you smoke off rope for me? Nah, they force. Are you willing to gamble that? Because I'm not. And if you're willing to gamble that, that's fine. We play the game differently. But I personally am not willing to gamble that the enemy team is bought up here. I would like to gather information. You forgot the slash S, that's your bet. Ooh, no backtracking is allowed here. You've got to use the slash S in the first message. Enemy a. I'm in their spawn. Hey, that guy forced. You gotta go, dude, because those other dudes are probably gonna show up. Oh, that guy did not force. And the fight we just willingly engaged in Omen. drop was not the best. One enemy oh, that was a sick spray transfer, dude. Well played. Thank you. Yeah, so because of the gun differential. Ooh, excuse me. I would probably look to peek out on ropes here with my fade for the long range gunfight. And then I'd probably chill. Um, I'm down to play this angle once the smoke fades. Because if this smoke is gone, then you can like hold this longer range fight out here. But walking out through the smoke feels a little, a little dangerous to me. Uh, bye. Okay. One behind dice. Oh yeah, get this good. What? That's your getting this kid? Got him. <laughs> Another one dice. One behind dice. So I guess here, it turns out there is a judge on site. Maybe I'm in trouble. I think I'm still fine though. I'm actually dash up drafting up over this raise uh, because I see she's throwing her nade right now. She doesn't have a gun out. So if you just dash and get real close to her, you can just like lay her the hell out. I'm gonna... I think I need to mix my stream louder. You got your volume bastard extension at 200%. Sounds hard.
Rotten Chuckles, name of the Prime. Ego 77, nice. that's the tier one. Oh my god. We're chopper rating on offense? A solo duelist? Okay. Oh, wait. And you're revealing that you're operating. <laughs> <We're crazy. laughs> this guy's entry oh. frag jopping. Right in the sand. Okay, okay, okay. What is up with our like allergy to this part of the map? What's going on? It it just feels I don't know. Like the only you can hit A like this, you can split. But B is really hard to just push B main. I oh, see some more splitting going on. Yeah, but you guys kind of just run at him. Mm. Can't argue with the results. Her fate is solo over. Oh my god, look at her. Nice. Nice, good job. I have all okay, now it's their buy round. Surely. Myself. Did, are you going rope? Oops. Bro, there is one side. What? Bro, these VODs are heckin'. These are something else today. I need, I need some immortal thoughts to like clean my eyes. <laughs> so I think you miss and so you stay lower. And now, I don't know, I'm kind of feeling like just scoping in would be like a good idea. Then you like, you push even more and scope this part of dish. Doesn't make sense. Like if you're dish, let's pretend you're the dish player. You peeked here, you saw nothing, and then you're coming over and you hear the team rushing A. You're probably routing to this side to fight A main. I mean, it's possible you come here to fight Sans, I guess, but um, most of the action's happening A main. Fatal clears site. If by clears you mean reveals one on site, then yeah. Mark one. Oh, jet under. Nice. What was that play? Customs. Yo. Bro, we're just winning rounds. Just fair distance. Nice pick. Raise B. One on site. Yeah, I heavily disagree with priming Dash here. I think if they peek out into you, you've got really good odds of just killing them, and also you've got like the whole squad. One on site. Yeah, this is what I'm saying. I feel this game is just smashed. When does it get close? Oh. 
mountain. Same shot. Bro. Oh. Why do we keep opping B main? Okay, so th there's a mini game that you have to play when you have an operator on offense, okay? And this used to be more prevalent when Chamber was in, uh, like, the meta. Because I'd have to explain this mini game to the Chamber players. Because the mini game was important for them because Chamber always has an operator. Um, at least once per half. This is his ultimate ability, okay? Um, so the mini game that Chamber has to play on offense is before his ultimate comes online he's got to figure out which aggressive peak is most likely from the enemy defenders are they likely to peak dish are they likely to peak a main are they likely to walk down arcade are they likely to walk down b main okay in our vod right now i'm giving this b main walk pretty much a zero percent chance unless they're on eco from what i've seen which means I don't want our op to be here. Because you're not you're not gonna kill them. Now I've seen them peak dish. We've never gone arcade. I've got no idea. And I have seen them peak A man. They flanked out last round. So at a least I would be A main or dish. Um, but like why don't we have any info about this arcade space if we're opping? The op needs to get peaked. It doesn't want to peek into somebody. It wants to get peaked. And you're not maximizing you. your odds of getting peaked with the way you're playing the op right now. Bring them down. You're playing heck an entry off. Well, you just peeked into that guy. That's no good. You just peeked into a marshal with 60 HP. That's no good. Look at our fades, dude. My bad, I'm coming up Our fade just overheated Jen and killed two. Pull your knives, go with her. Oh, my bad. Oh, this is good. I peeked into you. Oh, we can't death ball like this. What the? Cypher's eye. Bro, what is this? Let's say they genuinely are right there. Doesn't jiggling through the smoke like this just get you killed? What are, what are you doing about it? Cypher's eye. Bro, this is like a fizz eye. You gotta understand in platinum, yeah, you're laying this guy the hell out. Okay. But the fat the number of times you've peeked into them with your op is very bad. It's very bad. We can't be too attached to the results here where yeah somehow we always kill these guys um because she's holding us she really should be like i give this jet decent odds best offer in the galaxy interesting i'd actually here i'd turn around back towards the rest of my shorty Can someone hold my rope? I'm watching drop. There. Dude's got your rope. A homie. Nice, right, good job. Oh, what is this attack? I'm holding Ooh, for the peek out. The death balls. Your team just runs past you. <laughs> find you. Yeah, we've had oh, knives God. for like seven. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> no, you're dead to nade. <laughs> oh, that's lit, dude. Oh, never mind. That is lit, dude. The Romans are TPing behind us. Oh no, our overheating fade donated a gun to their radar. So now you reposition. Oh, you win. Bro, you got knives. Bro, you got knives. Did we just lose this round? No. What? It's not even. Bro, this is 10 to 1. Yo, if you want a shorty. I think we're gonna have to update the VOD rules because it's it this is two smashes. Like defense is gonna be a smash in the other direction. You're not getting punished for any of your mistakes. Where are you? Cover going out. This is crazy. Maxwell, thank you for the two months. They're about to? I don't think so, not on offense. On offense, we're just cooking them. One enemy yeah, look. We win 11 1. And if you throw a dizzy. How long? And there is no good resistance. Let me give you the analogy. Let me give you the analogy. Kyo Miro. Imagine I'm a chess coach and you brought me a chess VOD and. For whatever reason, I review one white game and one black game. And in this case, I ask for the total number of moves to be like 100, okay? To ensure that it's not a smash. And the white game you sent me looks like this. And then you're like, okay, we did now, now let's review my black game. And I'm like, wait. But, but there was nothing to talk about on the first game because your opponent was so incapable of dealing with your like weak threat that we were never forced into scenarios that required us to like play better if that makes sense so our opponents didn't like push us to have to make tough decisions and so I don't, I didn't get to see what type of decision you'd make in that scenario. Like I never got to see what you'd do if your opponent played this because your opponent didn't play that. The opponent you were facing just kept losing to your death ball strategy. Hazel, thank you for the resub, two months. And somebody else resub when can find you. Where is it? Who resub? Maxwell! Thank you, thank you. Anyways, let's watch defense. They're dropped, they're dropped. Drop. Wait, when did we prime dash? Oh, yeah. To peek with a flash and a teammate? Not a fan. They're dropped, they're dropped. Drop. Oh, there's, they were waiting too. Fifty-five. Yeah, we kind of abandoned Gecko. Oh yeah. What's this play? Wait three seconds and then flash. Sure. Yeah. Nails. Oh yeah. Okay. They dropped. They dropped. So, when your fade dies here, you're effectively um playing weak side. Uh, both of you are playing weak side. Unfortunate happens. And on Fracture on weak side, you want to be doubled up on a lane. So right now you're doubled up a main and that's a lit. If you can secure a main, you can probably stall the plant long enough for your teammates to show up. What you don't need is control of both lanes. This it's very similar to bind in the sense where if you're playing like defense on a and you have showers control, you don't need a short control too. You don't need both. 
So in Fracture, if the enemy team's taken Dish, they've like definitely taken it already, and you just have two people in A main, then just keep A main. Um, so like take this space, fight that guy, and then you're gonna be able to sort of deny or force them to plant really awkwardly with your A main space. It'll be very hard for them here. So let's say they do get the bomb down, all four players, but you've maintained control of AMA with two people. Well, now your teammates are coming here and here. And notice all of them are stuck on site. You can't realistically run ditch. And normally where the teams like to run some players is A main. They can't do that because you have A main. And the inverse is true as well, where if the whole team is flooding out A main and you're playing weak side and you've got two dish, then you don't really want to swing out here and give these fights. Um, because those fights are just, they're like straight up 50s. You sort of need to play for a fast flood at this point where you wait for your teammates to come and you use your dish control to sort of like cause a really fast retake. So I'm not a fan of us turning around here Good job. and going for dish pressure. Zion, thank you for the tier one. Good job. Like going for the dish pressure just feels really bad here because you're splitting up from Gecko and we don't need it. We don't need it. It's unnecessary map control. Uh, smoke off main and I'm just going to play However, unrelated, I would stick like glue to this fade player. You know why? This guy is probably smurfing or some shit, but they're just w keying everywhere and so i'm just gonna stick with them i smoke with the classic because i don't want her just running out alone every round and dying droopy thank you for the prime 13th dr thank you for the prime dirty dog dave thank you for the prime Why did we all rotate? Did these quiet? I don't hear anything here. I doesn't see anything. Okay, sure. I'm down. I'm down. We're A players now. What are you doing? You're like, oh, they're not here, so they're not dish. Oh, one drop. I know. Indoors. You heard the fighting main you wanted to join. Yeah, but you can get yourself killed, man. They they split their site last round. Like smoke drop off at the least. Also, where was that energy on our attacking half when our fade just kept fighting every round in their spawn? Those rounds you were happy, just chilling. Oh, oh one drop. A. Right now. Indoors. Enemy. Yeah, so. Only two of them. All right. We got to buy. Please do not play dice against Raze. Thank you. Couple B. Wait. Are you telling me you were just jiggling B main for info? Or you are Jeff? That's a fight. Okay, okay. Exercise. Here's the exercise. You're watching tens. You're presently spectating tens. And he's jiggling B main. And his fade throws an eye. And it gets broken. What's Tens most likely doing here? Our hero. Because most people are right. Most people have the right intuition. He's swinging. He might even get wide, prime his dash, and then ADS. So he might get a little wide, prime his dash. This was I broke it. No one watching arcade. You want to check it. Wrong idea. Wrong idea. We're weak side. And I mean, we shouldn't like B shouldn't be weak side without a sentinel, but it is happens. We've got two people. 
And so if you want to go arcade, well, your fade better than well want to go arcade too. I'm more than happy to gamble that we get to take this fight before this guy walks all the way up around arcade like this. Like this, that'd be crazy. Grab an orb. Checking arcade. Bring them down. Yep, and there's the B main fight and nothing arcade. But notice who gets the B main fight. Nice arcade. For a non jet player fight, it doesn't matter. 104 chest. I'm gonna go check arcade again in case they went under. Bro. Ooh. Yikes. I would say tower. Spike planted. Oh, they're planning it. Never mind. We missed the comedy didn't come through. Yeah. And that's just a losing round that happens. Yes. The biggest problem I'm seeing is it's like you don't want to just take fights. Like you had fights there and you're more worried about like the macro. It's lit. Why are you letting Omen peek more? I can flash for kill. Thank you. Got that gun, that's your shit. Yeah. Spike planted. Bro, give uh, Gecko your sheriff. Go, Gecko, take this. Yeah. Uh, sheriff. Yeah. Cover going down. Take hold. <laughs> One tower. Dodge. Nah. You cannot walk out of that smoke right here. Nah, 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 nah. So you got two options presented to you. You can either walk out of the smoke to potentially this threat, this threat, this threat, or this threat. Or you can route tower against these singular fights one at a time. Can go underneath i think that's a little slow riddick but i would agree underneath is probably a better option than what we've chosen to do it might be fine too yeah underneath is i think valid what if he is him if he was him he wouldn't make this decision tower he's right here you're just dead see i i could have told you that you were dead and i did tell you that you were dead before you died before you even walked out of the smoke, I just know you're dead. You just died for free. This should come to no surprise. I want to say Omen. Uh, thought I had a smoke. Thought you had a smoke? Let me, let me see proof of that. Let me see, look at the ground and hear Jet say not enough charges. One tower. You didn't press the smoke button. You did look down, but you didn't press the smoke button. <laughs> you did look down, though. I want to say Omen. Uh, thought I had a smoke. Last player standing. Play three, Dom. So far, okay. Oh. You're playing every angle for info. Every single angle for info. Do you? Thank you for the two months. Why are you playing everything for info? You're playing Duelist. Who's your favorite jet player? Yo, Miro, who do you want to play like? Who's your favorite jet player?
Who do you uh, dream to play like? Tens? Perfect. Tens, fractured chest. All right. 11 days. I'm down. Do you ever go tower? I wouldn't be surprised if he never goes tower, but. So we. Who? All right. B fight. Look. I found a round where he controls arcade. You know what? You're gonna you're not gonna count it because he's hopping. I think you'd do the same thing with an op. You'd you'd fight. I can already feel your brain shrugging it off. We'll find around where he goes tower. Oh. The randomness of boys. There we go. Oh my god. Oh. Same idea, he's holding, and I guarantee you he's fucking spraying. Look, do you see him jiggling for info? No, he peeked out in ADS to commit to a potential fight if they're there. You see that? Anything A is open? Bro, they never push tens. Can you blame them? Now we're opping. He ops the rest of the half. Yeah. I'm going to find this round. For the sake of our hero. And we found like two rifle. No, any ops? Oh, wait, we're back to rifle. Nope, op. 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 Arcade one. This counts. Look, is he running? Look! He had an opportunity. Right here. To smoke himself off and back up. Nah, he's he's ready. He's like bet. Sign me up. Yeah. Man, we really saw one round? I'm like not satisfied with just one. Tarek. Open door, open door. Better play? Yeah, let's push, push. Let's, I think we both put. Progressing. Yeah, I reset the bro. Oh, yeah, oh, Shazam yeah, like bullied the shit out of me for it. Oh, they have room for long. Right. Look at him. Yeah. I'm hiding our kid. Nice. Can you hold your cam out? Good. Oh, crying, they don't push us. Blanks Girl. aggressively. Watch out. Okay. You can leave, bro. I'm gonna stay here for a second. <laughs> He's crazy. Oh, he ops. Oh. You guys want? They don't have any. About ten. Drop. We're going RT. I'm going back right there. Okay. Progresses be main. Well, just, you can play Arcade. I'm smoking a little bit upper now. Amen. One's here. Going back on Arcade. Ooh, arcade you got here. me there. That's yeah. info. One's here. Mm, I guess he did cross already. I think this is a 50. I think we tie on this one. He's out here. He's ready to fight and has to commit. I'm smoking a little bit upper now. Amen. But then he switches to info. Right as he gets speak. Going back on Arcade. He smoke Arcade over here. One's KJ on this side. KJ Arcade. Yeah. Yeah. Exploding a dish. Wanna push me in? Wanna push 
Wait, this might- One dish, one dish. Setting under. I went to- Oh, he heard me. You see the difference? You see the difference? The way for pick, I guess. Yeah. Like when Tarek plays passive, it's because he has a explicit plan for when he'll swing. For example, he had a, a cipher trip or something like this. Like the B main trip. But a lot of the time he also just goes, I'm going to hold this from an off angle. And you also rotate CT every round. I know exactly where he died. Oh, there's no way. I know exactly where There's no way he died in this point. Jets drop. Oh, I should've. Okay, 12-5? And this VOD's got another 15 minutes? They draw spike, they man. Oh, this is lit. This is lit. What the heck is it? There's a van over there. No! I thought you were about to dash forward and I was going to lose my mind. For here. It's chilling. Spike down A. Spike up here. Down A. Oh, dude, you gotta look at your minimap. You gotta read the room. Your fade just peeked out all of this and saw nothing. And there's a lurked omen. And you know Raze was B main. Raze was not seen over here. I would just be a bit more cautious than this. Like, I'm super down to flank, but I'm not super down to do it with my knife out. Okay. I know exactly what you need. I don't need to see more. Whoa! Double! AG base drop and I used to knock! Give it a three months AG base drop. Two months I used to knock. Thank you for the support. I appreciate you. Joe Miro. Do we have notes? I don't think so. Nope. Joop. Platinum. Two. Offense? You have great IGL energy and willingness to commit to aggressive plays, but your aggressive plays lack um, a vision of the engagements you may find yourself in, like economic advantages, disadvantages. Watch some more pro vods and note down how they route specifically in these scenarios. Like your routing, I'm sure you copied this routing from some vods, but you are only paying attention to equal buy rounds. I need you to pay attention to how they play op on offense, how they play a weak gun on offense against strong guns, because they play differently and you don't. You need to deviate when you have uh, economic deviations. So pay more attention to the economy, the LDR, defense. We play for info too much. While this is not always invalid, we need to be more willing to commit to holding an angle. ADS, off angle. Mentally say, I will fight this if they just swing. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Thank you for the bot, Kiyomiro. This is an accurate assessment to what you watch for offensive rounds. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Arrow Blue, thank you for the five gifted. Chain reactions, thank you for the prime. It's Loxy, thank you so much for the tier one. Yeah, if you want to... Um, so I don't upload every VOD to my main channel. However, there is a Wuhujin VODs channel where everything is on here. Yep. 
so let's say for example you're really looking for a cipher on i don't know fracture you just go to the search bar cipher fracture and then you just scroll around and until you find a cipher fracture in the thumbnail i'm not even sure if we have a cipher fracture on the channel let's see this might be uh too rare oh we actually don't have any cipher fracture bots what the hell guys that sucks my example oh we got a cypher lotus vod <laughs> anyways yeah all of the vods there's the nats pro vod yeah but no actual like submitted vods feels bad anyways they're all up on this channel uh this stream will be up here in, in a day or two ooh, 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 thank you for the vod yo miro we're gonna raid dopey Thank you everybody for showing up to the VOD review. I'm going to play some ranks later today. I'll set an event for that. Otherwise, I'll catch you tomorrow morning for more free VOD review. Thank you for supporting the stream. Thank you for the subs. Thank you for the views. I appreciate all of you. Go say hi to Dopey for me. Have a nice day. Have a nice day. Look forward to that YouTube video dropping in a bit. Peace out.